Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, hope you are doing well. I am Shervin Madayu, again here with another informative video related to the electrical engineering and the electrical circuits. Dear viewers, today we are going to perform the experiment regarding the power factor and the power measurement in the RLAC circuit using MATLAB software. So before doing this experiment, let us discuss some few points regarding the RLAC circuit. RLAC circuit comprises of the pure resistance in ohms connected in series with the coil of the pure inductance of the L hand rate. In series RL circuit, the circuit current I always lags behind the applied voltage V by the phi angle. That is why the power factor of the series RL AC circuit always lagging and it is not unity because the current and voltage both are out of phase to each other. So there are three types of the power in the AC circuit. Number one is the apparent power, second is the active power and third is the reactive power. Apparent power can be defined as it is the total power appears to be transferred between the source and the load it is called as the apparent power or it is the product of the voltage and current and measures in the volt amperes. The true power or the active power is actually the consumed power in the AC circuit is called as the active power. The product of the voltage and the component of the total current in phase with the voltage is called as the true power. So formula for calculating the true power or the active power in the AC circuit is that P is equal to V I cosine of Y and it is measured in terms of watts. Reactive power is neither consumed nor does any useful work in the AC circuit is called as a reactive power. So formula for calculating the reactive power in the AC circuit is that V I sine of Y and it is measured in terms of the volts ampere reactive V A R. So the power factor can be defined as it is the cosine phi angle between the voltage and current is called the power factor or it is the ratio of the resistance over impedance or it is the ratio of the active power over apparent power is called the power factor. The value of the power factor or the cosine phi ranges between the 0 and 1. So dear viewers, without wasting time, let us do the simulation of the power factor and the power measurement in RLAC circuit using MATLAB software. So dear viewers, we have to implement this RLAC circuit diagram on the MATLAB software and our main objective of this experiment is to measure the electrical power, active power which is to be drawn by this circuit and also we have to measure the power factor with the help of the MATLAB software. And also we know that in the RL circuit, the power factor is not unity and the power factor is always lagging. And in the inductive circuit, always the voltage leads the current at the angle of the 90 degree. So dear viewers, we have to implement this circuit diagram on the MATLAB software. So go to the MATLAB, okay. Go to the power library. We need AC voltage source, okay and uh, we need uh, we need ground we need load resistor we need voltage measurement block we need current measurement block we need root mean square value block Also, we need the display block. Okay. Okay. Now connect this emitter in series with this load. Connect this load resistor with this emitter. Okay. And connect this second point of this load resistor with the negative of the supply voltage. Okay. So now this RMS value block will give us the RMS value of the current, okay. This display will be the emitter display, okay. And this RMS value block will give us the VRMS value, okay. And this display will give us the voltmeter display. So this will give us the RMS value of the voltage, okay. So connect this voltmeter in parallel across the load resistor, okay. And connect this RMS value block with this emitter and this display will give us the current flowing through this 
circuit RL circuit okay so now make it RL over here so this is the RL circuit so now in the MATLAB software there is no power factor measurement block is available so now we have to design the power factor measurement block uh, so that we can easily measure the power factor of this RL circuit and also we can measure the active power which is to be drawn by this circuit with the help of the uh, active and reactive power measurement block we need active and reactive power module okay we need divide block we need gain block we need trigonometric function block we need another display okay we need product block so we need the multiplexer block okay so now this product block output will give us the apparent power so also we know that the formula for calculating the power vector is the ratio of the active power or apparent power okay so here the output of this product block will give us the apparent power and this divider block will give us the value of the power factor so power factor here is the ratio of the active power or apparent power okay v i cosine of x is the active power so it is the ratio of the active power over apparent power divided by apparent power so this will give us the cosine of x means the power factor okay so from the output of this block we will get the value of the power factor so connect this vrms block with the voltmeter okay and connect this irms block with the ammeter okay now connect this vrms to the product block and connect this irms to the product block so this will give us the product of the voltage and current means the apparent power okay so now connect this power measurement block so connect this v with this uh, voltmeter okay and connect this i with this ampere meter okay so connect the multiplexer with the p and the q okay so this will give us the active power this will give us the reactive power okay so now now what is the power factor it is the ratio of the active power or apparent power is called the power factor so now connect this output of this apparent power block with the divider input of this block and connect this active power input to the multiplication input of this block okay so now connect this display with the output of this apparent power so this display will give us the value of the apparent power okay which is the vi and we need another display so this display will give us the value of the this display will give us the value of the active power in watts okay connect this display with the output of this block divider block so now this will so now this display will give us the value of the power factor now if we want to find the angle between the voltage and current so go to the trigonometric function make it a cosine of phi okay now this a cosine of phi is in the radian form 
so convert the radian form into the degree form so go to the gain block parameters 180 divided by pi is the conversion of the radian into the degree value okay so function of this gain block is convert the from the radian to the degree value so this display will give us the value of the power angle so now change the parameters of the rl circuit 220 volts is the v maximum 50 hertz frequency okay load resistor 200 ohm as per the circuit diagram one henry is the inductance okay now the change the frequency of the each rms value block okay make it 50 hertz make it 50 hertz make it 50 hertz make it 50 hertz and change the value of the frequency of the power block make it 50 hertz Okay. So now our circuit is ready for the simulation. Run the simulation and observe the results of the RL circuit, the active power uh, which is to be drawn by this RL circuit, the power factor. Okay. So now this is the value of the current flowing through this circuit 0.4177 ampere. This is the RMS value of the voltage which is given to this circuit uh, V maximum 220 volts and RMS value will be 155.6. This is the apparent power uh, 64.98 and this is the active power drawn by this RL circuit uh, 34.89 volts. Okay, And this is the power factor. 0.537 and this is the power angle between the voltage and the current which is a 57.52 so obviously this is the rl circuit so power factor here is not unity so power factor here is the 0.537 so also we can verify these matlab simulation results with the help of mathematical formulas okay so Formula for calculating the power factor in the AC circuit is that the cosine phi is equal to the ratio of the resistance over impedance. So here the uh, RMS value of the voltage we are getting from this voltmeter is 155.6 and co cosine phi is the R over Z. Okay, So we have the value of the R over here 200 ohm but we don't have any kind of the value of the impedance. So first we have to find out the impedance in the RL circuit. So impedance uh, formula is the R square plus XL square under root. So here we have to first find out the XL inductive reactance. So XL is equal to 2 pi FL. So here the XL is the 2 pi FL. So 2 multiplied by 3.14 multiplied by the 50 hertz frequency and uh, inductance value is the 1 Henry. So we are getting the value of the inductive reactance is 314 ohm. So put the value of the inductive reactance in, in the impedance formula. So 200 uh, ohm is the value of the resistance and XL we have uh, got the value from this uh, XL formula. So is that 314 ohm. So put the value of the XL as a 314 ohm in the formula of the Z. So we are getting the impedance value by simplifying this 372.28 ohm. Okay. So we uh, now we have got the value of the impedance over here and already we have the value of the resistance. So put the value of the resistance and impedance in the power factor formula. So it is the ratio of the resistance over impedance. So value of the resistance is the 200 ohm and we have uh, uh, calculated the value of the impedance which is the 372.28 ohm. Power factor that we are obtaining from this formula is the same. 0.537 and again we are getting the same value of the power factor from this MATLAB uh, power factor measurement block is 0.537 and also we can calculate the active power which is to be drawn by this circuit with the help of this uh, formula is that P is equal to V i cosine of phi so value of the V over here is the 155.6 okay and what is the value of the current here the 0 0.177 and we have the value of the power factor 0 0.537 so put all these values in this formula 155.6 multiplied by 0 0.41 and multiplied by 0 0.537 again we are getting the same active power result which is the 34.8 watts and in the MATLAB again we have got the value of the active power which is to be drawn by this RL circuit is the 34.89 watts okay
and also we can verify this uh, uh, value of the current which is to be shown by this ammeter display in the matlab is the 0.417 okay so formula for calculating the current in the ac circuit is that i is equal to v over z so we have the value of the v uh, which is the rms voltage so 155.6 and we have also calculated the value of the impedance which is 372.28 ohm so put these value of the 155.6 as the v and divided by 372.28 as the value of the impedance so again we are getting the same value of the current which is to be shown by this ammeter uh, in the matlab software which is 0.417 ampere so again we can verify the result of the power factor with another formula which is the ratio of the active power divided by the apparent power so here active power is the 34.89 in terms of watts divided by apparent power is the 64.98 okay so we are getting again the same value of the power factor 0.53 okay so dear viewers this was the experiment of the power factor and the power measurement of the rl circuit that we have done on the matlab software so dear viewers this was the experiment regarding the power factor and the power measurement in the series rl ac circuit that we have done on the matlab software i hope that you have enjoyed the today's experiment and at the last do subscribe my youtube channel shobhan madayo for more informative videos related to the electrical engineering area thank you